guys, Bharat Nagpal for iGyan.in and it's time for another iGyan exclusive sort of unboxing. Uh, as you can see, we have another HTC white box over here, uh, synonymous to the HTC brand. And now, uh, you guys have been all waiting for this, so I'm not going to take any more time. I'm going to quickly pull out this box. First thing inside the box you will see is uh, the Windows Phone 8X. I'm going to put that aside and uh, you get a standard set of uh, HTC things. So you get the new style HTC earphones, uh, the flat ones that we saw in uh, the 1X Plus box, a flat noodle style cable, and uh, then you get a standard USB to micro USB charging data syncing cable. Uh, you get the standard HTC India style charger, and we have a micro SIM removal tool. That's a quick look at uh, the box uh, that I got, but you will get uh, warranty certificates, uh, user manuals, etc. I'm not going to waste any more time, I'm just going to quickly get on with the device and I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is the new HTC Windows Phone 8X. Uh, I'm going to quickly get rid of this front protective plastic over here. You can see the brilliant new screen on uh, the device. And now this is a 4.3 inch Super LCD 2 display, uh, which does have a native resolution of 1280 by 720, which is absolutely brilliant. So you get uh, 720 like this and 1280 vertically. As far as pixel density goes, it's got 342 pixels per inch. That's absolutely brilliant. It is an SLCD2 display and uh, you have 16 million colors. You also have Corning Gorilla Glass 2 on this, so it is kind of tough and uh, scratch and drop resistant just like on the One X. Uh, now you can see you have a front facing camera as well. So you have a nice 2.1 megapixel full HD front facing camera, which is absolutely brilliant. So it does 1080p video with the front facing camera. You have the three buttons at the bottom, the back button, the windows button or the home button and a quick search button. On the right hand side over here, you have the camera shutter button, the volume rockers and a micro SIM tray uh, for your micro SIM card. On the top over here is the power lock and unlock button along with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. There's nothing on the left of the device. On the bottom, you have the micro USB charging data syncing port along with uh, the microphone pinhole. On uh, the back of the device, you have an eight megapixel camera, which is supposedly really good in low light performance. You also have an LED light. You have the HTC branding over here along with the Beats audio at the bottom. And you have the new Beats audio speakerphone at the bottom of the device. Absolutely brilliant. In the front, you also have uh, this nice uh, speaker grill on the top. So let's quickly go ahead and power it on and see what it looks like. Now, of course, we have this in the black color where it comes in a bunch of vibrant, nice colors. I'm going to try and get the blue color because I really like the blue, uh, but it's available in a bunch of colors and also the lime green, uh, which is the HTC logo color over here. While it's powering on, I'm going to show you a quick comparison of a screen size with the HTC One X Plus. Uh, I'll also put it right next to uh, the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, you can see over here, uh, in terms of screen size, it's fairly big. Now it is a 4.3 inch screen, so in front of these two devices it's not so great, uh, but it is a fairly nice screen. So let's take a quick look at the interface now. So I'm just gonna skip through this, and I'm gonna skip through the test. You can see the new Windows Phone 8 uh, platform over here. Now you can resize these tiles, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can make them a large size, a medium standard size, or a small size tile. Uh, they still remain live tiles, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm gonna be showing you a full uh, a review of uh, Windows Phone 8 as well, uh, thanks to this device being in my hand. Uh, but you can see how smooth and responsive this device is. If you go to the right, you have all these new Windows Phone features. Uh, you of course get the new Windows Phone keyboard as well. Supposedly faster and better to use. Now, I'm, again, I'm gonna be showing you that much uh, later. You can see that viewing angles on this screen are absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'm going to quickly connect to Wi-Fi and uh, open up the browser. So it's now connected to Wi-Fi. I'm going to quickly open up the Internet Explorer, supposedly really fast on uh, this. I'll use recommended settings and I'm going to quickly jump to iGAN.in. So it should jump to our mobile website which is m.igan.in, you can see that over here, really fast and smooth, very fluid, the most fluid browser available. And then I'm gonna switch to classic over here so that we can take a look at how the full website looks on uh, the device. So you can see it quickly loads up the full website without any issues, you can see how smooth scrolling is on this. Uh, now I can switch to desktop view to enable some sort of content uh, on uh, this browser. So let me go into advanced settings. Let me quickly go back. I'm going to go into the desktop version 
and uh, let's refresh. You will notice that the desktop version is much faster compared to the other version and uh, pinching and zooming in is also absolutely fluid and smooth. You can also switch from portrait into landscape and you get this animated sort of switch. Uh, you can see it loads the full website, panning, scrolling, everything is great. You have your tabs uh, which you can open up from here. A lot of new things uh, that have been added in here and we'll be taking a look at all of them. Uh, majorly the tile placement is over here. You also have a ton of HTC things uh, that you can do uh, and you have a bunch of theme settings in here as well so I can make it light and I have a bunch of new colors so I can make it cobalt or cyan and then have a nice Windows background over here. So there you go guys, uh, this was a quick look at the new HTC Windows Phone 8X. Now expect a review of uh, the device really really soon. It's an absolutely brilliant device, it's gonna be my new phone for the next couple of days. So I'm gonna be giving you a full review on that. If you have any questions or queries, you can leave them in the comment section below. You can check out our full website for more technical details on the Windows Phone 8X. And of course, uh, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. And uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash icon, youtube.com slash icon TV. Bye again, I trust you very much.